These names that we're chanting in India, they're called the names of God. All these names are the names of that one presence that lives within us as actually who we truly are. So through the repetition of these names, these mantras, we move more deeply into ourself. That's why the practice, the way I do it, is ridiculously simple. I sing, and when I notice that I'm not paying attention, I sing. That's the whole thing. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to manipulate your emotions to feel anything. There's nothing that's supposed to happen. When you notice that you've been gone, which is most of the time, you just come back. And in fact, when you notice that you're gone, you're already back. Oshpadi krita varisham Mashiki krita rakshasam Ramayana mahamalaratnam Vande nalatmajam Anjana Nandanam Vir Janiki Shokanashana Kapi Samakshananta Nandi Lanka I guess it was in his head all along and you cannot categorize it. It's not Indian, it's not Western, it's somewhere there in between. It's intriguing, it's mysterious, it's uh, soulful, it's uh, spiritual, and it's rock and roll, <laughs> and the blues. He brings something good to the world, I think, really. You see the people here in, in London who come here with us, they have a peace of mind and a peace of heart. When they are here, they are living in special moments. That's what Krishna brings to people, special moments, peaceful moments, love moments. When I first came to him, I was, you know, playing Indian stuff and like the Kerala and, and things that you would hear Bhajani in an Indian folk setting. And okay, we're playing Indian stuff, right? So it, as it turns out, it, it, it's really rock and roll back. <laughs> Everything that we see, everything that we think we see, it looks like I'm doing it, but I have nothing to do with this. It's all Maharaj's, it's all his blessings, all of it. And I just do the best I can to show up, you know, and, and it's all his grace. So. Sukino, <laughs>